To a story you'll see only here on First Coast News, cutting edge technology and digital forensics led investigators to the body of Taylor Williams less than a week after the five year old was reported missing by her mother. And we've learned investigators took data from Brianna Williams's car and were able to track its movements from Florida to Alabama. Robert Bradfield is on your side tonight with how they were able to piece it all together, Robert. Yeah, some revealing information here tonight, and unfortunately, we can tell you there are several other high profile missing persons cases that do remain cold. Jolene Cummings, Ayanna Sawyer, and Haley Cummings have never been found. But Taylor Williams's body was discovered almost immediately after search teams from Jacksonville set foot in Alabama. Well, how? Investigators zeroed in on Brianna Williams's car. According to sources who worked on the case and participated in the search to find five year old Taylor Williams, detectives were able to extract and examine GPS and other data from the black 2017 Honda Accord driven by her mother, Brianna Williams. We're told modern cars collect data from more than 70 onboard computers as they connect to Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and navigation aids. Modern cars also record a car's navigation history. That collection of data, coupled with more familiar cell phone data, created a remarkably true-to-life footprint. With a search warrant, investigators accessed the car's data files, which pinpointed where the car had traveled and when. The company that extracted the data in this case confirmed its processes to First Coast News, but asked not to be identified. Taylor's remains, which were in an advanced state of decomposition, were positively identified Monday. Sources say DNA was taken from her teeth to help make the match. And we do want to remind you, Brianna Williams is in jail. She's charged with child neglect and lying to investigators. She is expected to be arraigned on those charges next week. She's also expected to be charged in her daughter's death once the cause and manner of Taylor's death are determined. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.